coming today with a new video just for my lovely subscribers to help you with this new season. Well guys, I don't know if you've noticed it, but it's finally got a little bit cool here in Oklahoma and so the fall season has officially hit us southern states, okay? And so I'm so excited to give you some tips to help you with your Christian girl fall guide to make your life better, okay? Obviously the goal with this fall guide is to just build your personal walk with God, get you excited and uplifted for this new season because guess what? When new seasons come, that means new changes are coming, new things are breaking off, but also new things are going to come forth. And so that's the goal with this video is to get you excited for this new season and also for you to look at your life and say what do you want to shift and maybe some of these tips can actually help you shift in that area well guys the first tip I want to give you is it's obvious it's fall season so it's time to put on a big oversized sweater and get cozy with the Lord amen it's time to get cozy girl put on an oversized sweater or a cardigan you know go ahead and put, pull out them booties it's time to get cozy but also too, to wear something that makes you feel warm cozy but most of all like a daughter of God because that is what you are boo you are a daughter of the most high king okay anyways let me quit being funny but really though go ahead get your oversized sweater with a cardigan get cozy girl because we're spending a lot of time in and so we're getting ready for some big shifts in our life get cozy tip number two guys I want to tell you is to get rid of that cold ash drink like that coffee you always get that iced coffee that I always get and get something like hot chocolate or a hot latte switch out that cold drink for something warm and soothing even hot tea but me right now I'm in love with hot chocolate I love to add some cool whip on top with a little bit of cinnamon and it just is so good for me and I love the way it tastes and the flavors of it and so if you want to switch up your cold drink try some hot chocolate some hot tea a hot latte and drink it up girl it's gonna be so good okay but don't drink too much. Next thing, guys, is make you a cozy playlist. Now that it's fall time, you're going to be spending time indoors. So when you're reading or when you're working or whatever you may be doing in your bedroom, create a fall playlist either on iTunes, YouTube. That's what I use. I use YouTube. I listen to YouTube all the time. So create you a little playlist on one of these platforms and just have your music for you. So whenever you're reading a book or you're chilling or you're working or you're cleaning up, whatever you're doing, go ahead and have that music playing in the background. Most of all, you want music that is so warm and cozy, but also boo. You want music that's going to uplift you and empower you. So find that devotional music you love, that praise and worship music you love to listen to. Add it to your playlist. And also, I know it's November, but go ahead, boo. Go ahead, add them Christmas carols. You know you want to add some Christmas music. So go right ahead, add that too. And just add some music to your playlist that's going to keep you cozy and, but most of all, uplifted through God and just keeps you like coming back more and more. Like you want to listen to your music. You want to do the things God is calling you to do, right? And that just keeps you like centered, but also gives you that balance in your life. So create a cozy playlist, boo. The next thing guys, I want you to do is to find a new notebook. This is key because guess what? I talk about it a lot, but prayer journaling will help us so many of us. It's easy for us to talk sometimes about our own problems, but we always kind of give it to surface. Like if I'm talking to someone about my issues, I may only give you certain things. I may not go all the way deep. And so the key with prayer journaling is to allow you to go deep with God, to tell him your fears, your anxiety, the hurts in your heart, maybe the ungodly thoughts you were thinking about, whatever it may be. Prayer journaling, that's why you need a new notebook. Sit down and prayer journal about the things on your heart because trust me, boo, they are going to help you so much. And so that's why you need a new notebook because before you can truly shift, you got to let some things go. I talked about releasing XX baggage earlier this week. So before you can shift into that new place, you got to let some things go. And prayer journaling can really be the place to allow you to see the areas that still need to be healed and the areas that you still need to release. All right. Next thing, guys, I want to tell you is to get a new devotional book. This is major. I don't know about you, but I'm a busy woman. And this fall, we may be busy. Some of you are taking classes. Some of you are working like me, working. Working. you are busy and so this fall what one thing you really want is a devotional for your phone having a devotional on your phone is major because it allows you to even on the go to continue to get uplifted and inspired and also to look at scripture I definitely like using the Bible app but also one thing I love to do is to go ahead and down personally download devotionals to my phone and so every day I just click on the devotional and scroll and look and read so if you don't have the money to get a devotional, I have plenty on my website. My number one devotional I would recommend is Arise, Inspiration for Your Calling. You can download it straight to your phone and every day just follow along with the devotional and it's going to uplift and empower you. 
Also, I have another devotional, and it's actually 15 uplifting Bible verses, okay? So each day, just pick a Bible verse and read it, and most of all, sit down and pray your journal about the verse, and also, too, just say what it means to you. I honestly just pick these verses off the top of my head because these are the verses I leaned on through my toughest season, and I know that they can break through anxiety, depression, and anything else because that's exactly what I was going through, through that darkness, through that valley. These verses broke through those chains, and I know they can help you. So go ahead. I'll leave the links down down below download these devotionals because guess what they're available to you and they can really help you after you get your new devotional book I want to tell you go ahead and grab you a new book to read and choose a new book in the Bible to study if you really want to shift your life you have to be learning more right so one thing about it is if I'm not reading I'm not learning so find a new book that you can read I highly recommend choose her ebook my choose her ebook also if you're a single woman blossoming in your singleness that's a 10-step guide to help you through this journey of singleness and to get you prepared for the next chapter amen and so if you need some inspiration on these books go ahead check those books out right now the choose her ebook is on sale for five dollars boo five dollars okay and so it's on sale because of the series and i just wanted you guys to get it in your hands but get it really really cheap okay the next thing i want to tell you is get you a book in the bible to study boo you need a book in the bible to study and to stick to it it's easy to just flop around from books to books like i mean i would go from like ephesians to the old testament back to something else back to ruth back to esther i mean i was just all over the place so when you decide to just pick a book in the Bible to study, if it's all of Psalms, if it's Jeremiah, whatever it may be, if it's Matthew, when you pick that to study for just one month, guess what's going to happen? That's going to shift the way you view things. It's going to shift the way you're understanding, and it's going to shift your study. You're going to know what you're coming to each and every day. And also, I created you a free resource, which is also comes with a checklist, but also it comes with reflection. It allows you to reflect over the book that you're currently reading. It allows you to reflect over the scripture and the daily devotional that you're doing. And most of all, it allows you to reflect over the story in the Bible that you're currently reading. It asks you questions like, what's the theme? What is the lesson? It asks you questions like who are the main characters you know what's going on and also too it's like how does this connect to your life how does this target your life I created this free resource so you can get the most out of your fall season because guess what sweetie the seasons are changing and it's time for us to change also well guys if you see somewhere in your life that needs to be shifted I highly suggest you go ahead and click the links in the description box below go ahead and download the free resource the Christian girl fall guide also download one of the devotionals and go and read about them and see which one really sparks your interest for this season of your life also something amazing you can do guys is subscribe to my youtube channel and my website so you can get weekly devotional sent straight to your email and get uplifted and empowered daily well guys i hope you're inspired and uplifted through this video i hope it helps you some way or another and gets you excited for the fall season and most of all excited to build that personal walk with god even more so guys i love you so much share this video with one of your girlfriends and like subscribe and i'll see you in my next one Bye, guys.